And that's the episode. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next week, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back to your favorite podcast. Oh, got more blind spot. I've been smoking for 60 years. <laughs> Hasn't affected me once. Not a single damn thing has gone wrong. Nothing. Strong as ever. That's right. Don't um, mind my stoma. Let's fucking... I don't know. Let's get right into it. Why not? Let's let's drive on up to that drive through and order us a good old fashioned Big Mac. You know, I've only had one Big Mac in my whole life. You're kidding me, right? No, I'm a big one. snack wrap guy, and then they got rid of them, and I stopped going Dude, to McDonald's. Don't remind me of the oh the grilled ranch chicken snack nah, bro, wraps. Fuck Dude. off, crispy, my dog. Bro, both were absolute gas. Remember the days when you could get barbecue oh, sauce on it? Dude. That was my shit. They, see, I don't know. That leads it right into it. Why'd they get rid of them? Did they get rid know. of them because they weren't real chicken? What I'm, were they made of? No, it's not even about that. I'm not lying when I say I've done thorough research as to why the snack wrap is not on the menu anymore. Like I was on their web. I went to their website, to their FAQ page, typed in snack wrap. And it was like, why is the snack wrap not available? And their answer was, it's available in Canada. Get the fuck out of here. So why the fuck Canada? isn't available in the U.S.? And then everyone I bring it up to is like, well, it's because not enough people buy it. And then as soon as they got rid of it, all of Twitter was like, where the fuck did the snack wrap go? Because it's the only edible and delicious thing on your menu. Yeah. I so I don't know. You know what? Answers. I'm going to. Maybe that'll be our third article or our fourth article. Where that was did... such a bad move. Who is you know what? Who is it? I haven't who? I haven't been back since I got rid of it. I I don't like any of it. I Except for that. Right now. CEO of McDonald's. Chris Kapinski. I hope that's how you pronounce his last name. K-E-M-P-C-Z-I-N-S-K-I. Kempinski. Are you kidding me? They got rid of them because it added time wait times to drive through orders because the they have to steam the tortilla for 20 <sighs> seconds. And then subsequent actions such as chopping ingredients, stuffing them, and rolling the final wrap added more time to the complexity of the process. Chris, you're a billion dollar company. You're telling me you can't invest in something to make the process faster and keep them on the menu? You'd Bro. have four times as billions of dollars if you kept the snack wrap on the menu. It's for money because it affects their drive through wait time, which is 70% of their revenue. Then make it order in only. There's so many ways around this. Dude, that's a fire idea. Yo, McDonald's, bring it back and you can only get it inside. Chris Kaminsky, couple pints pot, telling you right now, bring the snack wraps back as an order in option only. Time doesn't matter. You're in the store. What do you, what, what? Bring it back. That really freaking grinds my gears. Wow. I can't believe time for time management purposes in our drive through. We can't have that anymore. Yeah, it's so stupid. Also, this this goes mm. into what you started to bring up. And I said, don't McDonald's burgers take 10 seconds to assemble. 10 seconds. That's gross. That's alarming. That is. Alarming. I don't know. Uh, I just don't like it. See, I, I can't even say I don't like it because if I have the hankering for McDonald's, I got to go. No, I, like, I, I haven't had McDonald's probably in whenever they got rid of the snack wrap. I don't know, four. No, because it was, I don't know, maybe two-ish years. That's a good run. I have, no I, plan, I have no plan on getting any McDonald's. No, there's nothing on their menu I like anymore except their French fries and their hash browns, which are the same thing. I am a sucker for when they absolutely perfect the French fries. 
Yeah. You, you ever had a McRib? No, never planned to. Yeah, that's gross. I uh, have you seen how they make those? Yeah. Dude, and you're oh, it's not even real ribs. No, it's not even re- it's what is it? I don't know. Let's Google that too. If you can't tell, J Mac and I are diving hard into what in the world is McDonald's food. Five disturbing McRib facts. <laughs> Lay them. Uh, one McRib nutrition facts make you want to mix salad. Um, oh, it's just talking about what's in it. No one gives a shit about that. Wait. Oh, one McRib is five hundred calories. <laughs> That's gross. Uh, McRib, too. McRib meat is not what you think. McDonald's admits that in spite of its name, the sandwich is not made from rib meat. How this doesn't fall under false advertising and labeling, I'm not sure, but somehow they get away with it. McDonald's claims that the sandwich is composed primarily of shoulder meat, and as it turns out, the truth is much less appetizing. So Chicago Magazine broke the story that the ingredients actually consist of re, restruck. Re, oh, I'm I'm a fucking idiot. Actually, consist of restructured meat products like heart, tripe, and scalded stomach. The oh. mix. The McHeart, McTribe, and McScalded stomach just don't have the same ring, do they? Unfortunately, all of those names would be more accurate than McRib. Three, weird McRib ingredients are used in yoga mats and shoes. If you thought tripe, scalded stomach, and heart sounded bad, wait till you hear about some other ingredients. The sandwich contains around 70 different ingredients, including one that is particularly worry- worrisome. That ingredient is a food additive called something I can't pronounce. That's bad. Azotic carbon carbamide. In parentheses, something that's not real. Uh, It's a flour bleaching agent that when not used in McRib buns, inhabits gym mats, yoga mats, and the soles of shoes. McRib's hidden ingredient, animal cruelty. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I'd sign a petition to stop that. Uh, then it just talks about the company they get the hearts, tripes, and stomachs from. It's so shocking to me that if we were, if we had a a large following and people commented on our videos and weren't Will and Mike, they would come at us and be like, "Oh, who the fuck cares? It's McDonald's. It's a staple of America. You know, it's America's food. The Golden Arches will survive forever." So gross. It's like, bro, you don't even give a shit what you're putting in your body. I guarantee the people who say that are the people who go to McDonald's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, it's not any surprise to anyone that like people who actually give a shit what they eat don't eat McDonald's. Cheat meal every now and then, sure. Go hard. It'll be in your system yeah, for the next like, five years, but in, hey, go for it. In college, when they were serving snack wraps and I was really broke, I would eat McDonald's. Like I remember one night I was coming back from Christmas break and I hadn't gotten paid. It's similar to fucking last week when I was texting you about it. And uh yeah, like pulled up to a McDonald's for a fucking snack wrap and a medium fry because I that's what I would get. Well, actually, I would get two, and it it was like eight dollars. Gotta go two. You need two snack wraps. I One mean, is, it, it's not doing at, the job. At the end of the day, it's two chicken fingers wrapped in a tortilla. Like that's still not a substantial meal, but you got some cheese, lettuce in there. But dude, okay, so the reason when you were like McDonald's is sus before we hit record. The first thing I ever heard about it that I can't find on the internet because we were Googling things before we started is that I heard, uh, so my dad can't cook for shit and every, my, every Wednesday night, my mom would work till nine. So like when we were young, me and Heather, uh, he would take us to McDonald's cause it's the only fast food place in Southhold, and we weren't doing like incredibly well financially. Um, and so we got McDonald's every fucking week and 
when you're a kid, that's like fun. That's the shit. Yeah. So then one night my best friend was there and he was wealthy and uh, we go to McDonald's and <coughs> he like put his order in and we get the food and we sit down and then he just goes, yeah, my parents told me that they make the patties out of mealworms, which are like what you feed like lizards. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm never eating McDonald's fucking patties again. And the kid got two cheeseburgers. I'm like, okay, that's weird that you know that and you're still eating this. Bit. And I had my fucking snack wrap and medium fry. Um, yeah, that was the first rumor I ever heard. But then when we were Googling things, I found a Wikipedia page called McDonald's Urban Legends. And there's some pretty funny ones on here that I think we might be able to. Uh, yes to expand on so the first the first one is funding terrorism (laughs) mcdonald's a proud partner of isis no not isis it's pre-isis uh pre in the late 1980s rumors persisted in the united kingdom that mcdonald's was covertly funding provisional ira which the which is the irish republican army which is a terrorist group in ireland uh the source of these rumors was eventually traced to a cnn talk show in which the company was praised for its generosity in providing funding for employees via individual retirement funds so that's not true but that's hysterical What a, that is a hefty allegation. I know. And like the hefty, the Irish Republican army is really fucked up. I mean, they still exist today. um, But that's so funny that it was confused with retirement accounts. Dude, you know what that makes me think of? Because when you said the Irish Republic, if for some odd reason, they were to overthrow the known Irish government now. Somewhere down the line in the history books, it would be rewritten that the government in place at that time were the evil ones. I know. It's crazy. History's fucking wild. Um, so then the next one, which I think you're going to be excited about, and we can definitely talk a lot about, which we kind of just touched on. Uh, my sort of segue to this is unusual ingredients. Um, So the first one is earthworms, which is close to what I just said. Mm -hmm. Dating back to at least 1978, this rumor claims that McDonald's restaurants use earthworms in their hamburgers. Then the second one, which now after that McRib research, wow, that's hard to say, McRib research, we just did uh, cow eyeballs, which I would totally fucking believe. Hey, now one belief is that McDonald's uses cow eyeballs in its products, permitting it to brand them as 100% beef. However, the USDA mandates that all beef byproducts, including cow eyeballs, be appropriately labeled. McDonald's has asserted that its products contain 100% pure USDA inspected beef, no additives, no fillers, no extenders, which is not fucking true. In addition, cow eyeballs are usually are actually more expensive and the more commonly eaten cow parts due to demand from scientific institutions and experiment. What? A related claim is that McDonald's buys its meat from a company called 100% Beef, Get the making, it, here. making it possible for McDonald's to call beef byproducts and soy products 100% beef. What? No. That's no, wild. No, no, no. Yeah, no, there's no way McDonald's is going out and purchasing that prime cut off the cow and then sending it through a giant meat grinder to be processed into patties. No, because, like, even... No. Uh, There's no shot. Dude. Zero shot. They are taking all the leftover scraps from the slaughterhouse, whatever it may be, bringing it into the facility grinding it through that big old meat grinder and when it comes out is that patty paste and they mold it to make sure there's no bones or whatever in there and that's when it gets inspected of course it's gonna look like 100 percent usda grade a beef well this also relates to uh what you were saying earlier um 
What the fuck were you saying earlier? That's a good question. How how much earlier? I don't know. I lost my whole train of thought. Um, no, but like we've all had a top tier, one hundred percent like grass fed burger, and that's not like unusual to eat now. And like, there's a difference between like supermarket chopped meat versus like a hundred percent like actual USDA graded a hundred percent beef. But then there's also a difference between supermarket chopped meat and a McDonald's fucking patty. And there's a difference between a McDonald's patty and a Wendy's patty, which is a hundred percent USDA graded beef because they're all natural now and whatever. Uh, like it's so it's the most processed fucking it's the worst it's the worst fast food chain at this point because a lot of them like also fun fact uh did you know that taco bell is the healthiest fast food right now get out of here yeah no uh they fired their old like nutritionist or whatever like the person who oversees what's like the ingredients they use and hired some like health science lady and it's actually the most healthy fast food now and you can google that really yeah like in term in terms of like fats and sodium and like sugars and things like that it's the lowest do you think that each CEO of Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, Arby's, all of those quick sandwich places mm. have like this this secret meeting every now and then to trick the American public into thinking there's a burger sandwich race and a competition between these companies. But at the same time, they have it labeled and laid out that no matter where customers buy, no matter which business is booming, each CEO gets a cut of the profit because they're all on the same board or table or group, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Because that would be an... the ultimate ploy. Yeah, that's an interesting question. Because it is like just a bunch of billion dollar companies, multi billion dollar companies that are all, well, mostly all of the ones you just said are international. I don't know. That's a that's a hot conspiracy, possibly. Yeah. Um, but that next? conspiracy could already be proven true, and we just didn't find it. Oh, you'll like this one. Uh, the next unusual ingredient. <laughs> Mutant laboratory meat. Yeah, baby. Around March 2000, an internet rumor spread via email in Brazil. Uh, that claimed McDonald's meat was actually made from a genetically modified animal maintained in a laboratory. The email stated that the few who saw it assure it is a very unpleasant sight. They have no limbs, no horns, no bones, undeveloped cartilage instead, no eyes, no tail, and no fur. Its head is about the size of a baseball, and they are fed through tubes connected directly to their stomach. That's so fucking gross. What the shit? The email carries on saying that some irreversible health damage can be done by eating this meat, resulting in diseases who manifest themselves in a similar way to AIDS <laughs> and have symptoms related to Alzheimer's disease. Dude, should we do a couple pint study? I don't know, maybe. We'll do, we'll do a memory test for two weeks. We'll do a memory te- test for a month of me. No McDonald's, no fast food of what kind whatsoever. The next, the next few months, I have McDonald's once a week. And we see how well my memory does compared to the two times. We could be breaking ground here. Maybe. If you want to fund this study... Go to the Couple Pints Pod Instagram page and message us directly. I am willing and able and ready for a good amount of money. Um, and then the last one is pig fat. Uh, this rumor is that McDonald's uses pig fat in its milkshakes, ice cream, and fried potatoes. Pig McDonald's fat, huh? provides complete ingredient lists for all its products on each of its regional websites. 
This includes unidentified fats within the ice cream used to make soft serve and sundaes. Um, and then I mean, they and then they never commented on that. <laughs> they McDonald's never commented on that, no. or the article never did. No, that uh, that's where it ends. Um, that's that's it. McDonald's never commented on it. I mean, fat is flavor. So if I'm getting a little pig flat, pig pig fat in my vanilla ice cream to boost it a little bit, because McDonald's ice cream already slaps. Well, that leads us to our next conspiracy, which is that, and this is more very recent. Um, the uh, where is it? The United States Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, is looking into McDonald's to see why their ice cream machines are always broken. (laughs) I want to know that, too. What's going on? Is the pig fat clogging the machines? Well, according to this, uh, the machines require a nightly automated heat cycle heat cleaning cycle that can last up to four hours to destroy bacteria probably supplied by the big fat pig fat according to the wall street journal owners say that the cleaning cycle can fail making the machines unusable until a repair technician can get them going again the issue is that like they're like mcdonald's invented these machines so there's only like a handful of repair technicians for a global franchise good play and so that's why the machine is broken Chalk that up to Chris. Good play on that one, Chris. We'll give you that one. Fucking wild. Wow. But also, I, I don't know why the FTC is looking into that. Like, Yeah, what's going on here? Why, why someone so official? Because I was why thinking. such a big name? Well, I was thinking, like, maybe. Um, it's like a money thing, but. Oh, the article ends. I didn't read this far. Um, Some McDonald's franchisees, so like the owner, because McDonald's is a franchise, so like you buy the name and then you set up your own McDonald's. It's like 7-Eleven. The owners of these individual McDonald's franchises have taken matters into their own hands, paying to train their employees to fix the faulty machines. The... FTC got involved when it appeared that there were roadblocks to fixing the devices. The Biden administration, that's how recent this is, has has initiated several investigations on multiple products to ensure that manufacturers aren't preventing owners from fixing the problems themselves. Oh, so that's why they're being looked into. I just want some ice cream. Just want some ice cream. So that okay, well, that makes a lot more sense. So McDonald's designs this machine that's always that breaks very easily, and then only has a couple people who can fix it. And then when the people who pay McDonald's to own the restaurant try and train their employees to become those people, they can't. So that they have to rely and pay McDonald's, who they're already paying, to fix a machine. So that's why it's a trade commission thing. If I can get a decent salary, Chris, I will be trained to fix this machines. As long as you pay for my travel, I will go store to store nationwide, wherever. Well, it's ice cream machines. It's global, my dog. I'm going to Japan. I'm going to Ireland. I'm going to the UK. I'm going to Germany. Pay for my travel so I can fix these machines to give the good people of this world Pig fat ice cream. Everyone deserves a little pig fat vanilla or pig fat chocolate or maybe even a little pig fat twist. Dude, that's so funny. Under the the last thing of the article, there's a tweet. Um, and there's a sign on the drive through window that says ice cream machine broke. And then this girl tweets, I'm beginning to wonder if this McDonald's even has an ice cream machine. It's been broken broken so long that i'm coming up with conspiracy theories at this point hey shout out a couple fine spots what's going on i don't know what would be worse 
for it to come out that I, I don't know. I can handle, I can handle mealworms. I can handle little, the, uh, uh, yeah, the mealworms in the buns. Cause apparently if you cook them the right way and add the right seasoning, they taste identical to a nice crispy chicken. What mealworms? Yeah. Yeah. I mean like, so I'm it's not like, I, it's like eating like a fried cricket. Like I don't, that's not like the worst, but not like against that being in the bun, cow the, eyeballs and all this yeah. other shit. That's if so the gross. Burger, Mut- the burger. Mutant laboratory meat. That's nasty. If I'm eating a tube fed creature's body that is unknown in this universe, I got an issue with that. Yeah. My, red flags. I got alarms going off in my head. Ring a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding. Might want to go get a whopper now. Gross. When's some McRib coming back? That's the other thing. When is that shit going to end? People like, actually just, lose just, their mind over it. Like, just put it on your fucking menu, dude. Why is it got it? Shamrock shakes. Okay, uh, not gonna lie, those are fire. They are absolute. If I had a credit card right now, I would be slapping the table with it. Take my mm-hmm. money. But the ice cream machine's probably broken, so I know how much pig fat is in that. I don't know, but they're good. Uh, how are they making it so good? I how are people? I think I've had one shamrock shake and I was like, this is it. Dude. But also I love French mint. fries. I love shamrock mint ice shake. Cream. Mm, using yeah. your French fries as a spoon. Yeah. Oh. Also, Wendy's Frosties. Pretty gas. Up there. Dude, Wendy's is really good. I'll give it to him. You think McDonald's has their salads at like eight, nine, ten bucks because of preparation time? Maybe. Now that we know what we know, probably. Because that would make a lot of sense. Because I so, can get it's so funny that McDonald's fucking sells salad. I can get ground up cow hoof for a dollar, but I can't get leafy greens for under <laughs> 20 bucks. Yeah, and it's not that expensive to produce. So, yeah, I guess maybe it is. Ridiculous. But then the next question is, why don't they just get rid of it like they did the snack wrap? But then the answer definitely is so they can cater to, like, people who don't eat meat. True. Very true. Because also, like, also, like I said earlier, like, if you're someone who gives a fuck about what you eat, you're not being like, fuck, I guess I'll get a McDonald's salad. Like, it's the only option. 24 hours, some some stores, 24 hour service, mystery meat, $20 salads, pig fat ice cream. That's a fucking meal right there, dude. That is a motorized scooter person's dream. So gross. Some McDonald's even have the electric doors now, so people can roll up on their scooters, mm-hmm. hit the button, and just stroll on in. True. They got the automated screens now at a low point, so people in motorized scooters don't have to look up over at the cashier to look up at them to feel down about themselves that they can't get out of their own wheelchair. Because their are, own fucking legs won't support their body weight anymore. That was a great pun. Don't look down at them. Yeah. I'm here to get the McRib. Oh, my God. That's so foul. Do you see the video of Dalia trying a McRib? No. It was so funny. It's on YouTube. Um, yeah, he's like, I've never had McDonald's. I have no interest. Or no, I've never had a McRib. I have no interest in a McRib. And he takes a bite. And like genuinely, like not being funny, Chris, he just (laughs) he looks at the camera and just like turns around and spits it out. And he's like, I can't eat this. And then he goes into like a comedy routine about how shitty it is. I'm lost for words. I... I want to get on the board now. But also you're eating K 
cow stomach with onions and pickles on it and barbecue sauce. That's so gross. <sighs> See, but if it's all ground up into the same color, the same texture, in the same patty, I mean, yo, bro. Let's get some cow balls, dude. Ew. You know what's yummy in my tummy? Why are you talking like that guy from regular show? Because I feel like that's the type of person that would wake up in the morning and go, I want to go get McDonald's. Yeah, true. I want to get a McGriddle. Their hash browns are really good. McRib? It baffles me, dude. Yeah, I don't know. You got and it's like none of this shit. Like McDonald's just gives like really bullshit reasons as to why it's like no, it's fake. And then everyone's like, okay. You know, if you said it's fake, we're just gonna roll with what you guys are saying. We trust in the golden arches. They're just like, no, that's not true. Like, in ba da ba ba ba, we trust. Pretty much. Hey, you uh, catch any of the football games today? No, I was driving. That's right. Because yeah. our boy, that's right, our boy J Mac was ripping the slopes in Vermont, people. Very true. It was he dope. Was- Skiing down that mountain. Dude, I was hauling ass down that fucking mountain. Oh, like I have. Like hauling tell, delicious. Tell me your top speed. Uh, This time, I didn't break my record, but my top speed this time is 42 miles an hour, which is pretty sick, especially when you're just, it's your feet and there's no motor involved. <laughs> Bro, you're a compact car going down a mountain. Well, my my record that I set at Okemo last year is 50, 52, so I'm trying to break that. Dude. Yeah, I fucking love skiing, dude. Ah, uh, man. What was I going to say? Oh, I... uh. Nope, now I fucking lost it again. Oh, well. I don't know. Save it for Came and time. went. I got to go to bed because I have to go to work. I was about to say, you look sleepy as shit, and I bet you have to be up at four. I'm so I got sleepy. nothing else. You're absolutely right. So it was great talking to you, pal. Yeah, you too, buddy. I'm glad you got home safe in the snow. Thanks, me too. Uh, Well, it didn't start snowing here. When we left, it was snowing really hard in Vermont. And then once we hit Massachusetts, it stopped. And then... By the time we got to New York again, it started like kind of snowing. Is it still snowing? No, I don't know. It looks like it stopped. But uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. Most of it was not snowing, which was good. Most of it was that beautiful powder. So beautiful. Anyway, this has been a couple bites, pod. Safe to say. You're out of here. Bye, everybody. Suck down some cow trade, biatch.